my lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We start in here at Gillingham with the UI up and running. Uh, for those of you who are... Uh, should we try that again? For those of you unaware, uh, there's been a fairly major update to the game released this morning. Uh, that's this morning being Thursday the 8th of July 2021. I know, Domini. Uh, yes, uh, quite a few changes actually for example new ui layout bigger tabs or whatever makes it a bit easier to select things and also i believe in the purchase vehicles yes there's filters up here you can sort your vehicles by various different aspects such as its cost its running cost power blah 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 i'm sure you're all capable of reading all of that you can filter by cargo type as well. I guess that's for your wagons when you're laying out your trains or your trucks when you're doing your freight uh, haulage lines as well. So yes, all very exciting, very, very good to see. Good to see new updates being released and what have you. Now, so we're starting in Gillingham. Obviously at the end of last episode, I was rather despondent because of this ridiculous traffic situation that we have on the approach into Gillingham and we also have the same situation heading down from Bridport as we can see here and also heading in from Petersfield we have a similar situation basically people are opting to drive into Gillingham as opposed to taking any of our public transport options uh, if you remember I was a little bit uh, as I say despondent shall we say a bit frustrated with it all and I couldn't see a way out and how to sort it out and I was left a bit clueless a bit scratching you know scratching my head and whatnot however I've done some reading subsequently and I have a few ideas that I want to try now these ideas do involve ripping out Gillingham's public transport infrastructure much like we did at Coventry and giving them a brand new transport system so we're going to do that straight away so the first thing we're going to do is go through and delete every single bus stop i'll likely leave this interchange and this one at the train station but all the little stops on the streets have to go so bear with me a minute i'll get all those deleted and we'll pick it back up once they're all gone okay so as we can see they have all been removed obviously we need to wait for this timer to get rid of these residual stops well that's doing that what we'll do now is go to the vehicle manager we'll go for the lines that we can see on screen in front of us so that's all our bus routes and whatnot and we're gonna sell all the vehicles including the metro vehicles because the metro will be reworked as well obviously the, the freight lines and the train lines can remain untouched but these are all going like so and then those lines where we've just removed the vehicles from them they are getting deleted like this and then we also have the two metro lines as well there we go so that's got rid of the complaints or the warnings that the game was throwing up because we deleted all the stops I'm just killing a bit of time here while these timers disappear off our screen so there we go so now we can see a much cleaner overview of the city now what I'm aiming to do is if we bring up our RCI layer, which is this one, we can see we have obviously three separate and disparate zones in our city. We have a residential zone starting in this corner here, which bends out this way, almost like a shallow U shape here. We have a commercial district by and large here and an industrial zone here. Now the way the traffic or the pedestrian, not the pedestrian, the, uh, the citizens move around the cities is they will only go from residential to industrial, residential to commercial and vice versa. They don't go from commercial to industrial or industrial to commercial. So every start or finish point of their journey is a residential building. So basically, any lines we had that were basically serving this area here, which were looping around here, 
were by and large relatively pointless because a pedestrian getting on a bus here, say at this commercial building or on this street here, if they were only being taken around this industrial sector, they weren't going to get on it because they weren't going here. They were heading to one of the residential buildings. Now, obviously, that could be a residential building in this city or it could be in Bridport, Petersfield, Coventry, whatever. But they will only go to a residential building. So, so I think our public transport that we had set up for Gillingham wasn't doing what it needed to do in terms of the game mechanics. Now, what I'm also going to do, first of all, I want to upgrade this road between Petersfield and Gillingham to give it much higher capacity. So we'll do that straight away. We'll have an extra large country road. Oh, this is new as well. Player ownership. That wasn't there before. We do want player ownership on this. We will have bus lanes and tram tracks on this because we may have an intercity tram between the two cities set up to help hopefully encourage people to get on the tram as opposed to using their private transport options. So if we just upgrade that there, it's going to remove two buildings there, but that's okay. What's these building, these roads here? Are they serving anything in particular? No, they aren't. So I'm actually going to, in fact, no, I won't delete it, but what I will do is open the traffic layer and turn off the traffic light there because there's no need for it because nothing is ever going to be coming out of this way looking to merge onto this road. So having traffic stop here at a red light for non-existent traffic coming from here is pointless and doesn't make any sense. And that's also obviously going to slow things down if they're stopping for non-existent traffic. So we've got rid of that. I might upgrade that. I'll come back to that if I want to upgrade that bridge. Okay, now back into Gillingham. So we have a main thoroughfare through the city here. I think it might be worthwhile making this an extra large street. At the minute it's large, as we can see. Yes, it's large. But if is it worth having extra large, perhaps? Although it might... Yes, we can't do it here because of the interchange. So we'll keep it as large, like this. Yes, this is going to get rid of some of the buildings that are built alongside here, but that's unavoidable. Didn't want player ownership on that road, so that's unfortunate. They're, but never mind, with it is what it is. This is already electrified with a bus lane, I believe. Yes, it is, so that's all done. So now, straight through the centre of town, we have a large two-lane street, four-lane total. That should help some of the traffic that was building up here, because now they have extra lanes to make use of. Okay, moving on. What I want to try is, if we have a tram station... Let's try one of the modern tram stations, I think. And I'm going to put one at each end of the city like this so we'll put one down here like that and then we'll do the same over here and we're going to bring back that intercity connection we had between the cities that initially wasn't doing what I hoped it would but I think I'd made a few minor errors with that so we brought those back in they are going to be a little bit different how many terminals do we have here two perfect that's what I want. We'll keep this, and as I said, we'll keep this as well. So the first thing I want to do is have a cross-city metro that goes from Gillingham North. We'll re No, we'll keep that as Gillingham North to Gillingham South, stopping at the interchange in the city centre. So we'll set that up now. So we will go Gillingham North, Gillingham Central Exchange, out to Gillingham South, back to the Central Exchange, Hopefully they're using the same, yeah, they're using the same platform each time. Yes, they're having to dance around somewhat to get in and out, but that's okay. We can always tidy that up a little bit later on. For now, it's not too concerning. And we'll call this line Metro 01, Gillingham North South. Because that's what it's going, it's going from north to south, south to north. So that's that. Let's go ahead and get a couple of trams on this. Let's have a look how we can sort them now. This is going to make it a lot easier. What we want is, I'm going to say, top speed is 
Oh, that's green. There. Okay. Oh, we saw it descending or ascending. There we go. Yep, top speed, the Type T1. And we'll have six on this line. Do the usual setup with the maintenance and whatnot. Give it the colour and set him onto the line. He's not going to leave yet, obviously, because the game is paused. That's okay. So we have a north-south. The idea being, we'll have an intercity connection between each of the two neighbouring cities, obviously Bridport and Petersfield, and they can, rather than drive over here, they can get into here, get on the tram, get dropped off here, and then from here we'll have bus lines, one that goes to the residential, one that goes to the industrial, one that goes to the commercial, obviously we'll also have one that incorporates the train station as well. And I think, hopefully, that should get rid of some of this traffic that we have on our streets at the moment so to see this to fruition we're going to need tram, uh, tram stops at each end of the cities for Bridport and Petersfield so let's get them dropped in we'll use the same style that we just used there in Gillingham get some of these mods used up so if you put him say there and then go over to Petersfield and put a similar sort of system in here. Say, we'll put this one on this side, like so. This is, Pe yep, Petersfield West is fine. And you are Bridport Annex. No, we'll go for Bridport North, just keeping with a theme. So then we want a tram line between those two. Like so. Colour you can be dark green. And this is Metro Connect, we'll call this. Gillingham Bridport. Yep. Get some trams on this one. Again, the Type T1. We'll go for four of them to start with. If it proves popular and it does do what I hope it's going to do, we can add more on. That's that one. This is all electrified, isn't it? Yes, it is. And we know that's electrified as well, because I did it all at the same time. So now we can do a connection from there to there. And this will be Metro Connect for Gillingham and Petersfield. There we go. That's coloured purple. That's fine. Let's get some trams for that one. Again, we'll go for four if we need to add or remove any later on. That's not a problem. So here was purple, we'll go for that one. Ye no, we'll go for that, yeah, that one, there we go. Metro connect Gillingham to Petersfield. So now we have a connection between Petersfield to Gillingham, across to here, into Bridport. Now we want to get the transport set up for inside of Gillingham itself. The first thing we want to do is get one from the train station to the Gillingham Central Exchange. And we're not gonna have this stop anywhere other then the train station and the central exchange so it's going to be a direct service so something like that you can be yellow and we'll name this metro connect no metro x metro 0102 sorry gillingham station tell it like it is again i'm not concerned at this point in time with how they're routing themselves in and out of the exchange. We can always address that later on if we need to. There we go. Put them on the line. Yes. Okay, that's fine. If that's the way you want to go. I prefer you did a full circuit, but that's okay. We can change that later on. And now we want to sort out some bus stations. Bus stops, rather. Just check if we get any nice modded ones. Not really... A Greyhound, but how big is that? That's too big to, to use inside the city itself. So we'll stick to the traditional bus tram stops. We will open our RCI layer. There we go. So as we said, we have residential here, industrial here, commercial here, and they all want to meet in the middle. So the residents get on. We have a residential circuit, drops them off here, and then they can get on to the industrial line or the commercial line or they can get on to the intercity lines or they can get to the train station that's the theory i think 
the residential zone is quite large, so I'm going to go for two. Two lines. We'll have one service in this area, and then one service in this half, and that should see us through. So we'll start, and we're coming down this way. So we'll just rotate the camera, and you are going to this side of the city. The only thing about having this land use layer open is that seeing the coverage isn't the easiest but you get a rough idea as to where we're headed okay now you want to turn down this way and head down here yes stick to the residential only and then head over back into the central exchange like that that should do us quite nicely we'll have this one colored black and you start here and then you're coming out this way like so there we go that should do what we want it to do yes it is we'll only have the one route at the minute we can always counterclockwise clockwise set up later on if needed and this will be bus service no let's call it yeah bus service zero one Gillingham Residential. Then bus service 02 will also be Gillingham Residential. And we'll set that up now. So you're going to come out of the exchange and you're going to head this way instead. Like this, straight down to the riverfront. And then head up there. You can loop around there, turn around in that little cul de sac. That's no problem. And then you're heading this way. Not compatible. Oh, because there's a waypoint now, I guess, is what's causing the issue. Okay. No drama. No drama. And then head up the side streets. And then you're back into the central exchange. New line from here. What colour do we want this one? We have green. We have yellow. We have blue. We have black. So I say we have a burgundy colour. That'll stand out quite nicely. And then you, sir, are heading this way. Turning around there. Heading back up here. Around this little street here. And then up these side streets. And then you're making your way back into the central exchange. Where's the line gone? There it is. Bus service 02, Gillingham Residential. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Now we just want one for the industrial, one for the commercial. Oh, we want to get some buses, of course. We want some buses. So we'll use this vehicle depot here. I think for the residential we'll have, I'm going to say, 10 per line. So we want the highest speed is what I'm going to go for here, which is the Mercedes-Benz that we unlocked the last time. So if we want 10 per line, we need to buy 20 in total. Just make sure, yep, there we go. 5.9 million, 6 million to you and me. And then we'll get the first 10 selected. I should have really done these individually. That we'd have to select and click like that, but there we go. And then fill the rest in the burgundy. Put them on the second residential line and they're away. Now we can do the industrial line. So you're going to head out from the exchange and head this way up here. And go all the way up and then you want to come around this way. Down this little side street like this. Into there and then you can go back into the exchange. So what colour are we going to have this one? Let's have a think. Something that stands out for easy Identification, I think a grey, grey, silver sort of colour should do quite nicely. Didn't mean to do two new lines. So we're starting here and you're heading up this way. And then you will head back into... In fact, I'm going to go for a darker colour. That's a bit difficult to see from a distance. What about a light pink? Yes, there we go. That stands out a lot better. And this is bus service 03 Gillingham. And this will be industrial. Like so. And then the last one will be for the commercial. So again, you're going to leave this way 
and then you're heading out this way instead like this loop around these this commercial sector a little bit and then head back in there yes we have a little bit of overlap here but you know that is going to be unavoidable by and large however we have kept them distinct to the rci land usage which is what we want you can have the color we have orange for the truck so that could cause confusion sky blue that'll do quite nicely and then you're starting here and you head you can share that stop and then head this way like this loop around there hit that hit that and then back into the exchange perfect get the line correctly named there we go now we have four lines we have two metros and we have the well three metros we have the train station metro as well again should have really bought the vehicles between doing each line but never mind again although these are quite shorter so i think we can have fewer buses this time we had 10 on the last one so i say we go for eight this time which means we have to buy 16 total as i'm sure you're all aware select the first eight maintenance cranked up color them pink you're on the industrial line the rest maintenance cranked color them sky blue and you are on the commercial line okay that is now all set up and ready to go what we'll do before we release everything is check these station the, the platforms that they've opted to choose because there's a lot of platform sharing at the moment and that's going to cause overcrowding very quickly so let's see if we can divvy them up a little bit better for example bus service 05 you can come in this way and if you go around and over to platform number one Yep, yeah, that's all. Oh, that's 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 lovely and clean. Well done, well done. You two can share a platform. That's okay. But bus service O2, you are coming from which direction? I think you come along here. Yes. So you could perhaps go to platform two. Yes, you loop around in the there, but that's that's okay. I mean, if we wanted to, we could tell you to hit this waypoint. But then you would come in, loop around, and come like that, I believe. Let's just test that. Get the line manager, bus service 02. So your final stop, if you go to this waypoint, are you going to do a crazy loop? No, you are not. Excellent, excellent. That's that one done. Okay, bus service 03. Which way are you coming from, sir? You come in this way. You can hit platform three. And that's making you loop. Again, what we can do is quickly test what would happen if we sent him down this waypoint here. He's changed his platform, so swap him back. That's an even worse sort of loop, so we'll get rid of that. And that, yeah, you can do that's okay. You can do that if you wish not too worried about that where do you go you got stanley road which is this one what would you do if i asked you to do that you swap platforms i really wish they wouldn't do that okay ignore that then do what you were doing previously that was a lot better i guess bus service 04 could go on to platform 4 just notice i've got them all assigned line and platform linked up didn't mean to do that. that wasn't intentional at all okay so you're doing a loop can we ask can we find a way for you not to do that we can try it by having your final stop be here terminal number four still looping so get rid of that keep that as it is so metro 01 Gillingham north south shares platform five inbound and outbound that's okay and then the Gillingham station connect goes to platform six that's okay so 
moment of truth. Obviously, it will take a bit of time for this to take effect in Gillingham. What we're going to do is actually pause the date progression because we're getting close to 1955. And I'd, I'd rather focus on the congestion today rather than any new unlocks that might occur in 1955. So we'll pause the date briefly. We can unpause it towards the end of the episode, however. Okay, so what we want to do now is do we have a... Oh yes, we have metros assigned to this line. What we'll do, if we go to four times game speed, give things time to leave the depot. It's going to take a while because there's about 50 to 60 vehicles wanting to leave this depot. So give them time to get out, get spaced out on their lines and see what sort of impact this is going to have on our traffic heading into Gillingham. So we'll just have to wait a few moments. In the meantime, what we could do is think about how we're going to do, redo Bridport's system. Petersfield will also need redoing. At the minute, it's quite small, so this should be a fairly easy rebuild. Shouldn't be too many complications with this one. And what we'll do is we'll do the same sort of thing we've just done in Gillingham, where we'll use make use of a land use layer and have a residential line, a industrial line and a commercial line which all converge into the center somewhere in the center we'll pick a location and then they can swap at the center we'll have a link to the train station as well and then we'll have a link to the interchange on the west side of petersfield so they can get into gillingham via the metro as well i think for the time being there's not going to be many running on this line simply because they may not be able to get anywhere once they get off look unless they are heading to or live in this little area here and they can't get to it there's no coverage and i guess that's going to be quite similar over here yes i don't know if those overlap they probably don't so the intercity metros are for the time being likely not to see much action However, we could do something about that by having a metro line that runs from this station here out into the centre and then back just like an express. And if we... Well, we would have to go here, wouldn't we? That's the only logical place we could go. Yes. Let's quickly set one up. It is going to be a bit of line sharing, I think. Unless we have a spare... Yes, we do. We can use the spare platform at the station. That would work. Just for now. Just for now. So, what colour do we... We'll have black. We don't have any black lines in Bridport. So, that's not going to be a problem. Out to there. I think this is all electrified already. So, that's okay. At the station exchange, please use platform 1. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Just as a quick fix obviously we will change it all around a little bit later this will be metro connect bridport station yes get some trams on that see if it starts to have an impact again we'll just go for, i'll go for five initially maybe too much maybe too few and we'll leave that a little while let it do its thing and see what sort of impact it's going to have. So we have a lot of people on the Metro uh, Metro 2, which is the Gillingham station. That's understandable. Obviously, the train station is very, very busy. To that end, I don't think four trams is going to be nearly enough. So I'm actually going to straight away outright double the amount of trams on that line. The bus stops are starting to pick up quite early on which is excellent we had a few on there on the uh, metro Gillingham north south which is what we want to see so time will tell then whether this is going to have an impact on our traffic issue here at Gillingham I hope it will I you know just like I said I did a bit of reading off camera just to get some ideas and suggestions and get a bit of a firmer grasp on how 
the traffic routing and the uh, the uh, destination algorithm works and hopefully this is gonna mesh in quite nicely with the underlying algorithm and we'll see a lot more usage on the public transport system than we were before okay so there's no people waiting on these yet but as I said that's likely just because there's no way for them to get to this one attempt to do a quick fix on this although I might wait and just do what I did in Gillingham and rip it all out and get it relayed in instead that might be a better option just get rid of the UI then we can enjoy a bit of cinema, cinema, cinematic scenery while we wait for the changes to hopefully have a positive impact on the traffic congestion issues that we're having it's still snaking back a fair distance that's to be expected it's probably going to take a little while for it to realize its true potential and i think we may also not see much impact especially on this traffic until we address petersfield's traffic or oh, sorry public transport system as well so to that end is it worth making a start on this in this episode or shall we cut it short here and have a dedicated episode for this one and what I'll likely do is off camera leave the game running as it is with the date progression paused and give this new system time to bed in and any changes to filter through and take effect I think that's what I'll do so this may have been a, a shorter than usual episode i do apologize for that but i don't want to overtax myself and end up with an episode that is too long especially because for the most part all we're doing is waiting around to see if our new public transport system in petersfield so in gillingham has a positive effect or not and it might require a few off-camera tweaks in and around here to get things a bit more free flowing because as we can see we do have quite a lot of traffic waiting here at the junctions. That's just because of the traffic lights, however. Yes, they once they get a green go sit. See, why did that stop and change? Oh, it's because he couldn't get on any further because of this. What I'm going to do as a test is remove the traffic lights from these junctions and see if that makes it any better or not and we'll see what that does like i said i'll keep it running now off camera keep a close eye on it and see what sort of impact this is all gonna have so once again i apologize for the brief nature of this video but i'm hoping in the long run it's gonna be worthwhile especially if we can get this traffic sorted out and the next few episodes are going to be focused on attempting to alleviate our traffic situation in our various cities notably Bridport and Petersfield and hopefully Gillingham has been sorted but time will tell so I'll keep it running dates could be poor so there's not going to be any unlocks that get missed I might make a few tweaks here and there but nothing major and then we'll pick it back up in the next episode where we'll turn our attention to I'll do both Petersfield and Bridport I think in the next episode do a double header and pad it out that little bit longer and then we can see if it has the desired effect so all that remains for me to say as always ladies and gentlemen is take very good care of yourselves start off for now